Ladies and gentlemen, you want to win this 1985 Mustang, 7,500 bucks cash, and this turbo and all these Motion Raceworks race car parts, all you got to do is spend 10 bucks on MotionRaceworks.com and get one entry. Check it out. This hat, two entries. This steering wheel, 30 entries. These billet, magnetic, jack stand jimmy, and wrenches, these are 15 entries. Check it all out at MotionRaceworks.com. Hey guys, welcome back to Motion Raceworks YouTube channel. We're back today with another Tech Tip Tuesday, and today we're talking about remote fills for low mounted radiators and rear mounted radiators. So it's become real popular to run rear mounted radiators lately, and low mounted radiators, uh, such as like small pro stock style radiators, have been popular for quite some time. And we get a lot of questions, at least personally, on how to plumb them, how to make sure it works properly. And so that's what today's video is centered around. We actually developed this remote mount uh, fill catch can for this exact purpose. The problem with when you remote mount a radiator when you uh, put it low is it becomes really hard to fill and it becomes really difficult to get the air out of the system. But the basic principles of a radiator can't be ignored. You know, when you run a standard radiator as a standard setup in a car, your radiator cap is always the highest point because it's letting the air out, it's letting the pressure out, and that's how it needs to continue to be. So, like I said, this is why we actually developed this can. We're not the only ones with this can on the market, and there are a few other options similar to it, um, but different. We'll talk about those later. So, the basic concept of when you're filling a radiator, and this integral piece that has to stay as a complete part of your uh, system is that the radiator cap needs to be the highest point on the engine in order to bleed air efficiently and uh, have a proper system. We developed this can, it mounts um, on a firewall, on a strut tower, anywhere where it's higher than the highest point where the cooling system would run through the cylinder heads on your vehicle or intake if you have an intake that's a water intake. It's pretty much that simple. From there, you have a bottom line that's gonna go out and it can either Y in line with the system or it can run directly back to the radiator and have a secondary uh, fitting welded on it. Um, this is not only your fill point, but it's a point for pressure to be relieved from your system. So basically the air is always gonna rise to the top. That's why it's higher. Um, there are a few other options out there, but for a lot of the modern engines, they don't work that well. An inline style radiator cap fill setup, whatever you want to call it, um, is another option. But on an LS engine, for instance, your fill port isn't the highest part of the uh, system as far as where air would go into. So uh, having it there can still have air pockets that are really difficult to get out. And uh, that's just not ideal. Without this, if you're just filling a radiator in the back, you're gonna have mega air pockets. You're gonna have a hard time um, ever bleeding the system properly and pressure bleed off is just not going to be there. So you're gonna have a pressurized system that just doesn't work properly. So there is a uh, pressure bleed off port. It's an eighth inch NPT, just like most uh, radiators out there. So what we suggest is running that directly to a catch can. Um, this is not, does not take place of a catch can. Uh, it's gonna fill up, it's gonna let pressure out. And when that pressure comes out, it needs to go somewhere. Just like a radiator would have a coolant expansion or catch can tank. Um, that's what this is for as well. So in true motion fashion, in order to make a clean and easy setup, we actually came up with this dual catch can bracket. So you can actually mount both right next to each other. It's a very simple, clean setup and gives you everything you need all in one spot. Both are billet and both are available on motionraceworks.com. Of course, there's other options you can use on the market, but we're gonna promote our own product. So if you're running a low mount uh, radiator or a uh, rear mount radiator, Make sure you put both of these style cans in your system for it to work properly so that you have a good working setup and uh, it doesn't cause you problems now or later on down the road. Thanks for tuning in to Tech Tip Tuesday. If you guys have ideas for the next one, drop them in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you guys. I will put these two can links in the description below. So if it's something you're interested in, you can just jump right down there, grab them and move on with your day. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.